Hello everybody, this is Emil from Graphics Media Production and today we are going to create rings like these in Cinema 4D and those rings are animated and they are looking like this and this is exactly what we are going to learn us and this is what we have created in this tutorial so let's get started so first of all we want to add a circle and we can change the radius if we want to and then we want to add a rectangle and we want the width to be thinner than the height so maybe 50 for example and then we want to add a sweep and nerves and we want to place the rectangle below the sweep nerves and the circle below the rectangle and this will form a ring and now if you want to you can change the radius of the circle if you want it to be smaller or in the rectangle we can change the width if you want it to be thicker or thinner I'm going to stay on 35 in width and add the height if you want to make it like longer or shorter I'm going to stay with 400 so now we want to add a cloner so we go into MoGraph and cloner and we placing the sweep nerves sweep nerves below the cloner and as you can see it was creating three rings here we go to cloner and we can change this one if we want to I'm going to keep it on free well as you can see in the y-axis the position has changed changed so we go down to the position y here and change it to zero and now all these three um, circles rings are staying in the same place but we want them to grow out so we want to change the scale and we got scale here scale x and y we want to change so 120 we can change them to so now as you can see they got some space between here and well to add colors to those we can make a new material and add it to this one but to make it more colors we can color this middle one here the second line to do that we have to duplicate our sweep nerves so to du duplicate it we can hold on the control button or if you're on Macintosh hold down the command button and then you just drag it down to create a copy of it but as you can see this one didn't go into the cloner and it has to go so we just drag it up under below the other sweep nerves so it looks like this so now we can add a new material oops and we can change it change the color and add it to the other sweep nerves so now you can see we got white and then red we can delete this one well it doesn't really matter so we can also change this color you can just keep on adding materials and add them we make a copy again and place it below and put the material on. so now we got three colors you can go to the cloner you can change the count to even more and as you can see they are repeating so well I'm just going to stay to free for this example and what we now want to do is to animate those so in the sweep nerves we can find the end growth and no the start growth and the end growth and these ones are changes changing the value here and these are going to be keyframed 
So all we can keep this one on zero, which it was, and we can select all three of those. I just hold down shift and select all of them. And well, we can change this to 50 first at all, so we just got the half of them showing up. And we go to the cloner, and here's the rotation, and we want to change this value, ro rotation B, whatever B is. Um, change it to something, and you will see that we got another sort of. We can try different values, and we will see different um, results. So, for example, we can take it on 60 and we go back to it, all the sweep nerves and we maybe put zero in both of them so nothing is showing up we are on the frame zero we put a keyframe and this automatic keyframes something and we place this one to the end of the timeline and we add up this one to 100 and we add a keyframe there and then we just stop the auto keyframing and now when we scrub through this we can see that it is animated just like we wanted it to be I guess so now we can maybe even add more into this one and it just keeps on animating so that's for this tutorial hope you enjoy please subscribe like comment and we see you next time